Hello, I'm Alex, and in this video we're going to be covering the implant scanning workflow. In Dental System, I'm going to start a new case and set up an implant. For this case, we're going to be working on tooth number 9, and I'll just select the abutment section. In this area, we have three different options for implants, custom abutments, anatomical abutments, which is really a screw retained crown with cutback, and then a full contour screw retained crown. In this case, I'm going to be doing a standard custom abutment. Within that, you'll always have to make additional choices for what brands you're working with and what systems and sizes you're working with. Category is a field that you don't necessarily have to use. Um, you can use this to sort through different manufacturers' groups of systems. Otherwise, you can leave it on all items and be able to browse through all of the systems available. You'll choose your system, which is typically which brand component you're working with. In this case, I'm using a Nobel Replace, so the Nobel Tri-Channel. And then for kit, I'm going to choose specifically which size and implant parts I plan on using. In this case, I'm going to be doing a titanium abutment, so the only options I have available are titanium blanks. Otherwise, if I were doing a hybrid option, I would want to choose one that mentioned the specific titanium base I would be using. After setting up your implant system, we'll go to the top right for scan settings. In this case, I am working off of a model with an opposing model, and to three shape, every implant case is going to be considered a section model, even though it's not sectioned in the traditional sense. Three shape always considers implant cases sectioned because you're going to have one scan that involves a scan flag or scan body, and another scan that involves a soft tissue, typically. If we were to try to set up this order form as unsectioned, we would get a warning message letting us know that we're not allowed to set it up that way, but that's okay. After setting up all of those options, we can proceed to the scanning workflow. The first step of scanning is to scan your prep arch with the scan flag or scan body in place. A scan body is just a usually a dental peak or metallic um, post that gets screwed into your implant analog. Because this post is sticking up out, it's much easier for the software to scan and in turn much easier to have the alignment of the implant in the correct spot. Most of the time we'll scan these scan flex eggs without the soft tissue in place in order to be certain that the implant is all the way seated. Otherwise, if the uh, gingiva could potentially be keeping your scan flag from being fully screwed down, that might mean that the software thinks the implant is just slightly off when it comes to the angle. So once you have your scan flag in place all the way screwed down, You'll put that in your scanner, and it'll take its preview scan. Once the preview scan is completed, it'll ask us to select the area where we're working. So I'm going to left-click and highlight just the immediate area around the scan flag. This is one of the higher resolution scans that the software attempts to take. So I'll usually just highlight this small area so that it doesn't take a, a lot of extra time. This is more noticeable with older systems than it is with newer models. As long as I've captured the adjacent teeth and the scan flag itself, I should be okay to continue next. After the detail scan is completed, I can continue next and it'll force me to line up the scan that I just took to the digital version of the scan flag. With this library, which you may not see with all libraries, it does have multiple options for scan flags. 
In this case, since I can see that the scan flag it's chosen does not match the scan flag I scanned in, I'll go to the option in the bottom left to switch to a different scan flag. Now that I can see that these interfaces do look similar, I'm able to use one or three points to line up these two. It doesn't matter exactly where you put the dots as long as they're in the same relative position on each of the scans. You'll usually get your best alignment if you mark them in a triangular fashion. Once the scan flag is lined up, you can continue next and we'll take our gingival mask scan. So right now I'm going to remove the scan flag and place in that soft tissue again. For this scan, we'll typically cover the soft tissue in some powder or scanning spray. Um, a lot of the times uh, zirconia dust works just as well. And once everything's in place, you can put the model back in the scanner and it'll continue and take another preview scan. Because this gingival mask scan is considered the prep arch scan to 3Shape, in this case we are going to highlight the entire arch after the preview scan is completed. Once the detail scan for the gingival mask is finished, we'll have to line up the gingival mask scan to our uh, scan flag scan. In this case, it's lined up automatically, which it should do most of the time as long as you did not have to take your model off of the putty to move these components on and off the model. If it wasn't lined up, you're able to click this Align Manually button and use one or three points, again in a triangular manner, should get you a good realignment. After that, we'll continue and scan our opposing arch and our bite scan in the same manner that we would for standard crown and bridge cases. We'll scan in our lower arch, first a preview scan, and highlight the arch for the detail. Then we'll put both our models together, usually holding a rubber band to keep them in occlusion, and then scanning that and using points to line them up. As long as you see these speckled surfaces, you know that the alignment is correct. If it wasn't lined up, you're able to click this Align Manually button and use one or three points, again in a triangular manner, should get you a good realignment. Once the alignment of the bite is completed, we're finished with our implant scan, and we can see that the software at our final step should have placed a analog in the same position that our physical analog is supposed to be, based on where we lined up that scan body and we should be ready to head right into design.